um, next presentation of uh, next presentation from demonstration school of content university in the title of investigation of biological property of food extract obtained from unwanted flora to improve natural natural skin care cream prototype uh, by Tita Sotadi and Ananya Uson Kong. Please give your presentation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ananya Kusun Kong, and my partner name is Sita Supakdi. We are from Demonstration School of Kongan University. We are proud to present our science project in the title of Investigation of Biological Properties for Good Extract Obtained from Three Local Unwanted Forests to Improve Natural Skin Care Product. Our advisor are Professor Dr. Khuan Jai Kanok Meitha Kun, Dr. Jutaro Peshara Buranin, and Ms. Patrang Sukmani Lam. We are unwanted plants are the problem of agriculture. So we get rid of them by burning or using chemical that will lead to create air, soil, and water pollution. Some of unwanted plants have have been used by local people to treat wolves. So we interested to add up value of three weeks. And we used metabolic mix to determine potential biological compounds in crude, crude extract. Next, we select in three plant in part in our KKU campus, part of leaves and flower. First, Singapore Daisy or Gadum Tong Lui. Second, code button on the Dunga and Siam weed or Sapsua. And we were create into biological tests. First is antibacterial assay that we use for bacteria, Bacillus cilius, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Escherichia coli. And antioxidant assay we do in two methods. First, FRAP and TPC. And we use metabolomics to determine bioactive compound. Next, we prepare the extract by ethyl state and ethanol. Then we get crude extract. We start our first experimental is antibacterial assay. We prepare bacteria by 0.5 macfarin and then we screen the activity by my collision in 96 well microplate. Then we determine MIC to full dilution. For the results of antibacterial assay, as you can see in the pictures, there's a blue solutions and pink solutions. The blue solutions means that the crude extract could inhibit the bacteria, and the pink solutions means that the crude extract cannot inhibit the bacteria. So the crude Extract that could inhibit Bacillus cereus are flowers and leaves of Singapore daisy, flower of coat buttons, and flowers of leaves, flower and leaf of Siam weed in ethyl estate extract, and leaves of Siam weed in ethanol extract. And the crude extract that could inhibit Staphylococcus aureus are flowers of Singapore daisy, and leaves of Siam weed in ethyl estate extract, and leaves of Siam weed in ethanol extract. These two tables illustrate the MIC values, so we can see that in ethyl state extract, leaves of Singapore daisy have the highest MIC value at 80 microgram per milliliter, and in ethanol extract, leaves of Siam weed have the highest MIC value at 600, have the least MIC value at 640 microgram per milliliter, and none of the extracts could inhibit gram negative bacteria at 1280 microgram per milliliter. Our next experimental is antioxidant assay, which we use two methods. The first one is FRAP. We mix FRAP reagent with 
with plant extract. And we use spectrophotometers to measure the absorbance value at 593 nanometers. The next method is TPC. We mix folin with plant extract and sodium carbonate. After that, we measure the absorbance value using spectrophotometer at the same wavelength. The results of the first method Thought, the FRAP method, we created the standard graph and used its equation. So the results came out that leaves of cyan wheat in both ethyl state solvent and ethanol solvent have the highest, highest antioxidant value at around 150 to 170. And the results of TPC method, this, we also created a standard graph and used its equations. So the results came of that the leaves of Siam wheat in ethyl state extract and the flowers of Singapore daisy in ethanol has extract have the highest antioxidant value at 233 and 457 respectively. And our last experimental is metabolomics. We prepared the solutions by dissolve the crude extract using D2O and transfer the solution to NMR tube. After that, we use 400 megahertz NMR spectrometers to find the chemical shift referencing baseline correction and phasing. And after that, we use the data to multivariate statistical analysis, which we divided to two methods. The first one in unsupervised or PCA and supervised, which we use OPLS and OPLSDA. The results of the metabolomics from the antioxidant assay, we found three metabolites and we can identify one metabolite, which is DSA codes that can be found in Singapore daisy and other metabolite can be found in Singapore daisy and Siam weed. In antibacterial assay, we also find three metabolites and we can identify one metabolite that is parallel alcohol and that can be found in Singapore daisy and other two metabolites is are the same as in antioxidant assay. So from the experimental, leaves of Singapore daisy and leaves of Siam wheat have the, have the best antibacterial properties and leaves of Siam wheat and leaves of Singapore daisy have the best antioxidant properties. So we can conclude that our weeds from that we selected could be value added especially Singapore daisy and Siam wheat that have antibacterial and antioxidant properties. So we can conclude that this finding can be used for further developing skincare products. Thank you for your kind attention. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Okay, thank you for your presentation in mitigation of biological property of the close act. Okay. Uh, the first question I mentioned for your plants, why you use this plant for this study? Because this tree plant can be found in KKU campus and they in the same family uh, as Terahi. Is it have a traditional herbal or, or not? Or is used for another use for this plant? Yeah. Yes, it can be found in family literature. For uh, herbal or uh, used for medicinal or uh, anything for use these plants? There are some uh, local people that use the plants to treat wounds, used for medical. In this, to treat? Treat wounds, uh, skin, yeah. Uh, why you do use uh, ethyl state and ethanol for solvent for extraction? You can use yeah. another solvent. Actually, our experimental use three solvents, which are hexane, ethyl state, and ethanol. But the results came out that hexane couldn't dissolve the 
uh, chemical compounds in the plant much. So we used ethyl state and ethanol, which have higher polar to uh, use in other experiment like antioxidant and antibacterial. Uh, do you want uh, the chemical in non-polar or polar for this test? Polar. Polar, okay. If you want polar, uh, have you ever been with water to extra? Can you repeat the question, please? You said you need polar compound, right, in your extract. Then I ask you, why don't you use water, just water to extract? Do you hear my question? Yes. You use ethyl acetate, right? And ethanol. And you said these are polar uh, solvent. And I ask you, can I use water instead? Because water also uh, a polar solvent as well. We think that it can be used, but actually in general chemical laboratory, we usually use ethanol for the solvent. But com compared to uh, the polarity, polarity of uh, water, ethyl acetate and uh, ethanol, do they equal or they are different? Ethanol have higher polar polarity than Same. what? Then ethyl acetate and water have the highest polarity. Okay, all right. Uh, for uh, the antibacterial assay, you use uh, Cephalococcus aureus and E. coli. Why you use this? Because uh, Escherichia coli and Pseudomonas aeruginosa as have neg is negative gram negative absurdity, but Bacillus and Staphylococcus aureus are in a positive gram negative gram gram positive absurdity. Why why this bacteria is important for? Because it creates a disease in the human, and we want to use this product to human. The disease from the, this bacteria, you can show the example for disease. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, this bacteria is a cause of a disease in human. Uh, can you show the example for the disease uh, from the infect from the infect from the this bacteria? Uh, diarrhea. Um, for diarrhea from E. coli. E. coli and several local They have some cause on uh, about eating system inside our body. Okay, uh, let's take a look at your experimental. In your experimental, you uh, use proton enema. What's it, it for? What do you want to know from proton enema? We use proton NMR to find that what uh, chemical compound are in the plants in our crude extract that we taste. So, and after that, we measure the crude extract with the uh, our experimental, and we compare that which bio bioactive which compound in the plants it's the bioactive compound. 
but uh, you use crude extract, right? I think from your uh, NMR data, you got a lot of peak. But how can you know that's it the compound that you identify? Such as uh, from your slide, you identify that is blah, 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 this substance. How can you know? Because there's so many peaks. Uh, we use the data from Proton NMR and we put the data in MATLAB. After that, we made a Stuxy peak and we use OPLS, PLC, uh, PCA, and OPLS DA to find out which, what in this peak, what is this compound? Uh, the question is for the metabolics. Uh, do you, yeah, okay. How you analyze the met metabolic from the NMR? Well, we get the data from the NMR as a peak, right? After that, we use MATLAB to find a stocksy peak and we transfer the data to uh, to use the multivariate statistical analysis in another program. And after that, we can compare the peak. So we can get the peak to find the uh, uh, metabolite in the database. So when we get the metabolite, we can just compare which is the same one. And we have to check it again that if this compound have in a plant. Please, you will show the slide number 14 and I'm not sure for, uh, for metabolic profile. Uh, can you use the, uh, uh, the metabolic profile? You can explain this, this slide. Unknown one, unknown two, was what is the unknown one in unknown and unknown two? Can you repeat the question, please? I'm not sure for the metabolic profile. You can identify in the metabolic, and you can identify the because unknown one and unknown two. How to identify? These are uh, three compounds. Uh, you mean that how we identify these metabolite, right? Uh, yes. After we get the peak that is uh, significant in with the plant and uh, Thank you for a wonderful presentation again.